It's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about missing numbers in addition. What does that mean? Well, occasionally in math, you have a number that's missing that you're trying to find out its value. The first thing I want to teach you is that we use something called a variable. A variable is just a letter in its place so we can help find that number. Well, how do we use this in addition to find a missing number? Hmm. Well, what does this mean? It means 15 plus some number gives us 26. How do we know what number it is? Well, the rule for addition, a missing number in addition, is you do the opposite to find it, which means this is an addition problem. We're going to use subtraction to find our missing number. We're going to start with our 26. We're going to subtract our 15. And now we do our math. 6 minus 5 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we believe our answer to be 11. But there's only one way to really find out, and that is to check your answer by putting it back into this, we call this an equation. Let's do it. 15 plus 11 equals 5 plus 1 is 6. 1 plus 1 is 2. Hey, look, it actually adds up. So the rule for addition, missing number in addition, do the opposite. Use subtraction. Let's try it again with some bigger numbers. So here we have B, our missing number, plus 231 equals 562. So what's the rule? For addition, do the opposite. Let's subtract. Here we go. 562. We're going to take our bigger number here. We're going to subtract 231. 2 minus 1 is 1. 6 minus 3 is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. But are we done? No. We have to check to make sure this is a good answer. We're going to take our 331 and put it back into our equation. Here we go. 331, that's the B, plus 231. And let's add it up and see if it equals 562. 1 and 1 is 2. 3 and 3 is 6. 3 and 2 is 5. Well, looky here. It actually works. What about a problem like this? Well, we still have a missing number in addition, but it looks like we have to do a little bit of pre-work before we can get to doing the opposite subtraction to find the answer. We've got to add up these numbers first and then it'll look more like the problems that we've been doing. So let's do that. We've got to add 52, 25, 13. 5 and 2 is 7. 7 and 3 is 10. 5 and 2 is 7 plus 2 more is 9. So let's just double check. 5, 2, 7, 3 is 10. 5, 7, 8, 9. Just wanted to make sure. So this really is the same thing as saying 90 plus C equals 102. And we know what to do with that. We're going to do the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. 102 minus 90 is 12. Let's check it by put it back, back into this equation. 90 plus 12 is 102. So there you go. Sometimes you need to do a little bit of pre-work before you can get to the part where you do the opposite of addition. But the good news is it still works out the same. And that's it. Hopefully you've gotten all of that. If not, watch it again. I think it's an easy one. I will definitely see you next time. Hope you're having a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.